Hi viewers, last time I made a mid-journey infinite zoom video tutorial. I was using mid-journey and Adobe Premiere Pro to edit. Some people commented below the video and asked for a CapCut version. Well, here it is. This time we are entering a fantasy world, creating this infinite zoom effect using mid-journey and CapCut PC. This is also a step-by-step -step tutorial. I am sure anyone can learn the tip after watching this. So let's get started. Firstly, we need to prepare some AI images. I use Midjourney version 5.2 to generate images. What I do is type in the prompt. Midjourney then generate four images. I pick one I like the most and upscale it. Next, use the zoom out feature to get another four images, pick one that looks best to upscale again. Repeat this process, zoom out, pick one image to upscale, until I get all the six images I need. Indeed you can create more images as you like. As you can see that the default image resolution of Midjourney is 1024 by 1024 pixels. That's not very enough for a high definition video. So we need to enhance these images to higher resolution, like 4K or 8K. I am using Hitpaw Photo Enhancer to upscale them. If you have watched my other videos, you might be familiar with the software I use. It is a powerful AI tool which can bring image quality to a higher level. I will put the official link in the description as usual. Now select all the images, drag and drop them into Hitpaw Photo Enhancer. It supports batch processing, so it would be quite convenient when you have dozens of pictures on the list. I am using the general model, focusing on the quality. Then change the desired resolution to 4 times larger, which is 4K resolution in this case. 8K is available as well, but it's not that necessary. Next, click on Preview to check the result. We have upscaled the image from 1K to 4K, and here is a comparison. All the details are greatly improved to a higher level. It's looking sharper and much clearer. After that, right-click on the image and apply current settings to all. Then click on Export to save them in local files. So here we have all the 4K images ready to use. Now we need to turn them into videos. Open CapCut PC version. Drag and drop the images into CapCut. Then drag and drop them on the track. Remember to put them in order. Next, place each image in different track like this. Leave the main track blank because we don't need this track. Then increase the photo length like this. To make the image move, we need to add key frames. Select the first track. Place the timeline on the first frame. Then add a key frame on the scale parameter. Place the timeline on the last frame of the first track. Change the scale value to 50. Now we have a scale down animation. What we need to do next is select the second track at the point where the first track ends. Add key frames to the scale parameter. Then move to the beginning, change the value to 200. Then at the last frame, change the value to 50. You can see the first two images have a fluent zooming out animation now. Next, add key frames to other tracks just like this. At the point where the previous track ends, the value is 100 before it is 200 and before it again is 400 add twice the value each time at the end of the track is 50 the reason for changing the value is to keep different track in the same speed as for the last track we don't need to change the value to 50 because there are no tracks after it now let us preview it Almost there. But you must have noticed that here is a little problem during the transition. Honestly, I don't really know how that happens, but we can fix that. Select the first track. Go to Mask. Apply the rectangle musk to it. Then change the size to 3600 by 3600. That's because the original image size is 4096 by 4096, 
and we need it to be smaller than the original size. What's more, change the feather to 10. Do the same thing to other tracks. Let me hide these two tracks so that you can understand that better. If we increase the feather, the edge of the image will be smooth. So the transition between two images will be softer and more fluently. That's how we solve the problem. Apply the settings to other tracks except for the last one. Now click on Preview. The problem is well solved. Lastly, you can export the video and share it with your friends. One more thing, if you'd like to create a zoom in effect, we can select all the tracks, right click and choose create compound clip. Then click on the reverse button. You are able to get an infinite zoom in video. Alright this is the step by step tutorial on how to create an infinite zoom video using Midjourney and CapCut. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to know more AI tools and tips, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It will be a big support for me. Stay tuned and see you soon.